People are feeling a lot better now that convicted killer Michael Elliott is back behind bars. Yeah, absolutely. But for the families of Elliott's victims, this escape brings back some very painful memories. Michael Elliott was just 20 years old in 1993 when he shot and robbed four people in Gladwin County, Michigan. He then later set their house on fire, covering up any evidence. Police say Elliott and his accomplices were trying to steal money and a drug dealer or from a drug dealer. He was arrested a few days later. Now, one of Elliott's co-defendants testified against him at the trial and said he laughed about shooting his victims in the head. Stacy Ramsey's parents died in that shooting. I haven't thought about him in a very long time. I forgave him a long time ago and you know I had to move on with my life and um, because I carried so much anger for so long and it took me to a lot of dark places. Again, Elliot was serving a life term for these murders. It's not yet clear when or if additional charges will be filed against him for this 24-hour run from freedom. Meantime, police and workers in Michigan prisons calling Elliot's jailbreak dangerous and preventable. Prison officials say budget cuts are threatening safety at prisons all across the state. Up until a year ago, an armed patrol vehicle reportedly circled the Ionia facility 24 hours a day. But now there are only random patrols. And six months ago, the Department of Corrections decided to not put an armed guard in the gun tower. This prisoner cut his way through the fence 20 feet from the gun tower. Had that officer been up there, he wouldn't have touched the fence, let alone got through it. Governor Rick Snyder said he's looking into whether budget cuts at state prisons had anything to do with Elliott's escape.